a serpent spirit is going to come serpent which is deception is going to come all over the world no more in just one nation here another nation there no more this will be a global problem you know i tell you one secret when covid 19 pandemic happened it somehow open a door in the spiritual realm from then onwards anything that happens is on a global scale no more a regional scale it just open a door a door in the heavens in the spiritual realm for good and for bad for the bad for the works of the devil they are all be on a global scale for good the works of god will also be on a global scale no more one nation here one church here or one church there no what god will do will be on a global scale all the churches experiencing it at the same time and the works of the devil that take place will also be on a global scale all over the nations all against the people of god at the same time hey youtube world harvest there's plenty of hope all as well thanks for stopping by to check out the video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as of yet so we have officially left 2023 which some consider to be the year of the rabbit and we have entered 2024 which is the year of the dragon for those of you who are familiar with the good book the bible in the book of revelations the dragon is the serpent or the devil or satan the fallen angel whatever name you prefer to use but this is where we are moving into the year of deception the year of the serpent the year of the dragon as i uh mentioned before in a previous video that I did called the dark magicians which I will link below if you haven't seen it please click on the link and review it i said that 2024 is the year of transformation cuz these wicked luciferians they have moved up their timetable and they're trying to get us in place so they can implement their new world order agenda and so there's a lot of things they will be throwing at us including a lot of weather related incidents If you take a look at Japan, they started their new year off with an earthquake. I think it was a 7.6 or 4, something to that effect. But they started off their new year with an earthquake. So expect for them to release their weather weapons and cause a lot of events um that may appear to be natural disasters, but it's something that they are doing with these weather weapons. A lot of deception, a lot of chaos, a lot of falling away. Uh also God is going to shake some things up too. So he's going to expose a lot of people. And then a lot of people will be exposed by their own groups. You know, there's going to be a lot of infighting going on this year and a lot of people are going to get exposed because they are purging their ranks and consolidating their ranks to get ready for their end time new world order goals. So guys, uh what I suggest uh if possible, just a suggestion, a suggestion, sorry. is to get close as you can with Jesus Christ build your personal relationship up with Jesus Christ because you're going to need a lot of spiritual guidance a lot of spiritual protection a lot of spiritual uh help and direction in your life for 2024 and beyond that's about all I have for you uh today until my next video guys thank you take care I love you god bless to you and your family serpent spirit is coming while i was fasting and praying in jerusalem on the 14th of june 2023 it happened during this year after we had finished conducting our annual conference in israel i always go a few days before and then i stay back a few days or a week after to just fast and pray you know So on the 14th of June 2023 at 10 in the morning I had a visitation from the Saint Moses and the prophet and the Saint Elijah came together with him and they two were present and the Saint Moses looked at me and he said a serpent spirit is going to come this serpent which is deception 
is going to come all over the world and it's going to begin in Jerusalem. A serpent spirit is going to come. Serpent, which is deception, is going to come all over the world. No more in just one nation here, another nation there. No more. This will be a global problem. You know, I tell you one secret. When COVID-19 pandemic happened, it somehow opened a door in the spiritual realm. From then onwards, anything that happens is on a global scale. No more a regional scale. It just opened a door, a door in the heavens, in the spiritual realm, for good and for bad. For the bad, for the works of the devil, they are all be on a global scale. For good, the works of God will also be on a global scale. No more one nation here, one church here, or one church there. No, what God will do will be on a global scale. All the churches experiencing it at the same time. And the works of the devil that take place will also be on a global scale all over the nations, all against the people of God at the same time. What you will experience here, someone else on the other part of the earth will also be experiencing it at the same time. What happens in your church will also be simultaneously happening somewhere else in the world at the same time because it will be a global problem from now onwards. So a serpent spirit is going to come, which is deception. It's going to come all over the world. And as the same Moses spoke with me, I saw a large, heavy, black cobra coiled around in one corner. It, coiled, it was coiled around and then he lifted up its head and it was hissing. Hissing. So what is going to happen? First Timothy Chapter 4 verse 1 says, Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. So this serpent spirit is not just one spirit. It is the main one, but below him there are his cohorts, millions of them, and they all carry the same anointing. And what is it? To deceive. That is what this serpent stands for, to deceive. And that's what the scripture says, deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Now will go out all over the world, and what is their purpose? To deceive the people of God. That's the purpose. Now when will this happen? The scripture says very clearly in the last days. Letter times. Letter times means the last days. Which means our time. In these times that we are living in. The Lord Jesus Christ in the last sermon that he preached before he was crucified mentioned that deception will be a sign of the last days. In Matthew chapter 24 verse 5 and Mark chapter 13 verse 22. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. That's his first sentence. When the apostle Peter asked him, Lord, what will be the sign of your coming? The first sentence the Lord Jesus said is, be careful that no one deceives you. Amen. That's the first sentence. Which means, deception will be rampant in unmeasurable manner in the last days. 